Today, I'm going to be talking about the ultimate wealth framework. This video is on a concept that I have seen work for many, many other entrepreneurs that started from nothing and were able to grow to multiple, multiple millions of dollars, and if not even further than that, in their business and in their life. And so this truly is a framework that I've been kind of toying around with and trying to figure out how this operates throughout the last few years. I think that I've cracked the code, so I'm gonna show it to you, but I would love to hear your comments down below. Is there stuff that I'm missing? Are there things that this sounds way too easy or way too difficult, would love to hear comments down below. Now, here is what I have as the ultimate wealth framework. You can see I've got a nice little pyramid. No, this is not a pyramid scheme at all. I just wanted to cover these up for the purposes of doing this presentation. Now, uh, in the very first bottom row, I have here that the majority of people that start out with nothing or very little start with a side hustle and a job. So you may be at a job. So that, that could be the very base of the pyramid, actually, that you currently have a job. You got to start there. So you're bringing in income, consistently paying your bills as best as possible. But then the people that end up starting to grow start looking into doing a side hustle as well. And that side hustle provides additional income opportunities, not so they can afford things like Netflix, but so they can reinvest that money in the side hustle, either to continue growing in their business or to reinvest it into other things. Now, what I see is a problem a lot of times is people create a side hustle and then they start putting the money into things that they don't fully understand. Maybe they start investing into stocks because they don't fully understand it, or they put it into crypto, or they buy a bunch of gold, hoping that it's going to go up in value. All of these things are, are gambles at this point, because you have no control over the way that that is going to operate or way that, that that is going to go into the future. And so the people that I see that have the most success take that money from their side hustle and continue to reinvest it into their business until they're able to come up with a full-time income. And so that full-time income is the next step there, that they're able to then leave their career and turn their side hustle into that full-time income because now they have control over their time, control over their money, they have control over the products or services that they are doing to create that full-time income in their business. And this is where people either stay at this level or they maybe return to that job because the business ends up flailing over time or they get tired of doing this work. But the ones that I've seen as I've studied so many different entrepreneurs have seen be successful. Then take that full-time income and they're able to reinvest. They're not trying to buy lavish vehicles or vacations or trying to flex on Instagram or anything like that. What they do is then they take that full-time income from the business that they own and then they build in new streams of income that are complementary. And so that could mean that if you're an Amazon seller, maybe you start doing Walmart selling or maybe you do wholesale instead of arbitrage or maybe you make your own brand and sell that on Amazon. You're creating a brand or it could be that you're doing coaching or consulting or working with other brands to help them on their Amazon business. Or maybe you're a, a contractor and instead of just doing contracting work, you start expanding some of the contracting services that you're doing. Or you start training other people on how to do contracting services. Or you write a book or you do something else that brings in complementary income to your business that doesn't require a ton of time from you. Now, the only way that people are able to do that is if they're able to create this full-time income here outsource some of their activities to other people so that it can continue to run while they're building in these new streams of income. And I've done plenty of videos on my channel about that. But this is a key component that if you're someone that has currently just a job and you're looking to create a side hustle, we'll start doing that. But take that money, pour it back into the business so then the business can grow into a full-time income for you. And then once it hits that full-time income point, then you can start looking at bringing in new streams of income that are complementary to your current business. Then after that, this is where it gets a little bit cloudier for me specifically, right? Because I have done these first three things in my life. I sold insurance. I then got a side hustle. That side hustle turned into a full-time income and I've added streams of income over the years. But then after that, it's about business acquisition. Now I've actually purchased a business and I look to purchase more of these. You see a lot of influencers out there that are buying businesses because that's the way that they see as wealth creation. And I totally agree with that and I'm on board with it if it's the right business, right? Right? You can't just go out there and buy a bunch of bad businesses, then you'll you know lose all your money. So it needs to be the right business. But once you have the strategies of building your own business, you're adding in new streams of income, instead of taking that money and putting it towards a bunch of things that you don't necessarily need, you can take the additional income and put it aside so that then you can purchase a business in the future. And many people don't realize that there are so many businesses coming up that are available for sale because of retirements, because of multiple reasons. I'm sure 
you can find other videos on that. But these businesses are for sale that have been around for 10, 15, 20 plus years that ultimately there's just not a ton of people looking for them. And so you can buy these businesses depending on if it's the right fit, sometimes for five, 10% down. So if it's a million dollar business, you can get it for a hundred thousand dollars. Again, this isn't for those of you that are at the side hustle and job stage. This is for those of you that are able to afford something at that level. But instead of pouring that money into cryptocurrencies that you may not understand, you're pouring it into a business that has been generating cash flow already, has people working in the business already, has customers and all of this brand that has been built over 10, 15, 20 plus years, and you're able to have more cash flow created with the money that you put into it. Now, again, it doesn't have to be that you have 100 grand. You could buy a business for $10,000 down if it's the right size of the business. Sometimes I've seen people that got given a business because the person was done with it and they didn't want to do it. Now, if you're ever just given a business, there's probably bigger problems that you're going to have to fix. But there are opportunities out there that exist. You can also do it with seller financing. You can do it in multiple creative strategies where you don't have to put any money down. And ultimately, this is where a lot of people want to get to and may not even be considering how this could even be an option if you're at the side hustle and job stage. But there are multiple options to get to this level. And then the last one I actually put up here is real estate. Now I put real estate not because we're talking about one-off houses of rental properties of just one here and one there. I've done that and that was not a good thing for me. I tried that probably when I was back here and I just had a job instead of putting money into a side hustle, I put it into real estate because I thought it'd create passive income, did not do well. But once you have done this and maybe you continue to do more business acquisitions, then you can look at real estate for the tax advantages, for the wealth creation, for the long-term benefits of it. There are potentials as well as stocks or crypto or some crazy investments you can make that could turn from $100,000 to $10 million, right? Those, those businesses that are in the tech spaces. But this is where you get to the point of now you've got so much capital, you've got the ability, you've built this wealth, that then you've got extra money you can put into these wealth storing or wealth protecting type of assets. Now, again, I actually think that business acquisition could be at the top of this pyramid and you aren't necessarily purchasing real estate. You could just continue to double down on that, do some other things where you're absorbing similar businesses into yours and just creating a much bigger and bigger snowball effect, so to speak. But this is the framework that I have seen be what's the majority of most successful people that exist out there, that they have started with some sort of job and side hustle. They turned that into their own full-time income. And as they started to scale and grow that, they added in new streams of income. As that income started to grow, they started to acquire companies. Maybe they sold their company and then purchased other companies. Some people skip this business acquisition and go straight to real estate. But again, that's going to require a lot of money. And in some cases, you may be trying to time the market. You can lose a lot in that. Whereas with a business that's been around for 20, 30, 40 years, and it's got a long success track record of success, there's a lot of opportunity here. You could just stop at the top of this framework. So this was more of a conceptual YouTube video for me. If you are interested in starting that side hustle and trying to turn it into a full-time income, I have a free 30-day training on how to start selling on Amazon and through e-commerce that I've seen thousands of people start and grow a business. You can check that out at askjimmysmith.com com forward slash free training and that can help you get started on that base level of that pyramid and hopefully grow into much more if you have any questions or comments leave them down below i make sure to respond to as many as i possibly can looking forward to hearing from you and i hope this video helps you and blesses you you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week